sorry. Sorry. I'm not sorry. Just let everyone down. Got no videos. It's like, like went straight out of business overnight. Matt drops truck off. I just fade into this awful dark place in this world where I don't want to make videos anymore. It's fine. It's going to be great. We're going to make videos. Tonight's the night. Let's get this party started. Let's go. God, come on. videotape anything anymore because it's the most boring thing you could ever watch kind of like how I spent eight hours putting a front plate on this thing I'm not quick I never said I was Brian's fast Brian is way ahead of me if this was like a like a battle show you know like who can build a race car faster one by a mile I've got two tabs and a front plate and a gutted truck well I do have a super clean motor that I've been working on so, Brian though, Brian's just, just way out front here. He's definitely gonna win the build the drag car shootout. I think he's good. He's got wheels, tires, a little test for a minute right now. Brian, Brian's gonna have a roller before I have a motor in Matt's truck. Yeah. A, lot, a lot of fab work here, huh? All these. All these uh, Fox body parts. <laughs> yeah. Just, just a basic fucking bolt on model kit here. No welders here, just uh, just a 3 ace impact and a wrench. It's just the everyman's race car, really. It is. It's like a it's like a model kit car. It's like if you want a race car but have no talent. It's true. Everybody should I should build really I should be building the Fox body. Yeah. You should be building the Toyota with an LS in it. I think I get to do both. <coughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. oh. What are the wheels? Squad wheels, man. Squad wheels? Ooh -ee. Are the tires from Taiwan or China? Indonesia. Indonesia. Just, just keep that in mind this summer when Brian's whipping this thing around road course at about a hundred and 42 into the first turn just the balance in Indonesia tires Gosh, it looks mint though well, in the front I don't know about the back in the, yeah the front's good not bad not bad at all so we got just a just a fine mixture here of QA1's finest, Chrome Molly powder coated subframe. Combined with a lot of Amazon parts. Amazon, eBay. If you're wondering about the orange, that was custom ordered. Paid extra to have them painted orange. China needs to get in the fucking tubular K member game. Then everyone will win. So if there was a Chinese K member, it would have been in here. Probably. But unfortunately, QA1 is the only place. Yeah, man. I don't know, coming along pretty good. I got a little bit of catch up to do here, but tonight or tomorrow night or the night after would be a good night for that. So while uh, Brian's over there, he's getting leaps and bounds ahead on the Fairmont, I just wanted to show you guys our new uh, aluminum cutting jig and tool we got. Pretty self explanatory. Laser straight. Now, if you're wondering how you can do this at home, we prefer the uh, the 11 amp skill saw with a uh, plywood ripping blade. I would prefer nobody did it. Brian would like me to put a disclaimer that nobody should ever do this at home. There you have it. 
Skill saw, nobody died. We got a motor plate. I think I'm going to church it up later. It's pretty plain right now, but it's fine. So what we really want to talk to is not how Brian is defeating me in the race. Instead, instead, what parts, what parts will be in Matt's truck? So let's just do a quick little recap here. So this isn't everything. There's a few items not pictured, a few items still on the way, but this will get you the gist of what's happening here. So, oh, I almost showed it. Custom cam, custom ground. This is not the snow off the shelf unit. Mm -mm, not today. This was ground. I, I can't even say. I can't even say who spec. That doesn't matter. It's it's gonna be flawless. It's gonna be mint. So we got the cam. It goes chop chop. Got the turbo. VS Racing 88, which should be a perfect little fit. Unlike my 107, that's just outrageous. And it was done out of pure spite because somebody said it wasn't gonna work. So a decent turbo that should actually do its job. To mount the turbo, uh, we used, before we'd use like some streetcar stuff. This time at Brian's request, we went with the Parker Speed stuff. So it looks pretty, looks pretty mint. So they make nice stuff. Um, we got the turbo mount too. So this just welds on like such, something like that. I don't know, that's Brian's department. Uh, the V-bands, we had to order two and a half inch V-bands. We gotta stop. I was I was just in the middle of editing this video, the clip that you're watching right now, you know where I'm talking about parts and you probably already clicked away from it so it doesn't matter, but something's been missing out of the last couple videos. I'm gonna call it the fan favorite. The only reason anybody watches this channel, Johnny B. So he's probably sleeping because it's like midnight, but we have to go investigate. I honestly, I don't know what he's doing. All I know is I saw his turbo for sale on Yellow Bullet. Turbo Bullet. I saw his turbo for sale on Turbo Bullet. I, honestly, I don't know why. Everybody's been so busy working and just living life. Uh, we haven't even really talked like last week. So I think I'm just gonna go break in the garage and see what's actually happening down there. All right, let's see what's happening here. Okay, so I got the car. So one piece on the ground, surprisingly. Johnny's usually got this thing like five feet in there for no apparent reason. Oh, train's out of it. Got the Cobra wheels on. Probably sold, nope, there they are. Tranny's out of it. Oh, that's cute. I think Brian did that last winter when we were putting it together. Let's see. Motor's still in it. Definitely missing a turbo, so you must be serious about selling it. Oh, there it is. Quick ad, if anybody's looking for a 116 turbo, Johnny's got one for sale. Uh, oh, and the billets. If you haven't seen the billet atomizer video, do yourself a favor and watch that explain why Johnny has a brand new set of atomizers for sale that nobody will ever want. So that's a good use of money. I don't know, I don't know what he's got cracking here. He's, he's inside sleeping, but we're out here. I don't know, we'll try, to, we'll try to catch up with Johnny at some point. See what the grand plan is here. Probably his weird quest for more horsepower like usual. At this point, I'm convinced Johnny's, I don't even think he cares about racing, I think he just, I think he just wants to like be a dino, a dino king. No, that's it. It's like an Australian thing. That's what he's doing. We're gonna try to make 2,500 horse with the little baby inset tires. I knew he had a plan. Um, this, the speed engineering headers, which I'm pretty sure are extinct now. Uh, we were ordering them like they're going out of style on Amazon because they're they're an absolute bargain. And I actually had to buy these on the black market. Somebody already had them. Um, and we really wanted another set. So they come with a three inch. I don't know why. If somebody can tell me why every Chinese turbo header comes in three inch, I'd love to know, but that's here nor there. So anyhow, we had to order two and a half inch V-bands and we previously had been ordering from, Vi from Vibrant who make pretty, pretty slick stuff. And per a conversation, it was brought up that Monkey Fab makes a very nice product as well. So we tried it out, looked pretty nice. We got recessed grooves and stuff so they lock together. Um, got the quick latch clamp like the Vibrant ones do. So we're going to try that. Looks so far so good. And while we we're at it, we also found on their website just a little pass-through bulkhead for electrical wire. But, uh, you know, use these for when you got your in-tank pumps and whatnot. But previously we were using these little plastic ones you find everywhere and they just don't look very nice and they're kind of chintzy and they don't tighten down. So Monkey Fab had that one in a metal version. And they were like four bucks so got a few of those to try out um 
all all the Parker stuff came from Race Part Solutions, and that's the same place we get the aluminum exhaust that doesn't work either. Uh, really like working with those guys. They always have what you need, and they send it out like damn near immediately, which is super impressive. Anyhow, so speed engineering headers off of Amazon, kind of off the black market. Same thing that's on the Mustang, same thing that's on the Camaro, and same thing that's been in this truck. So those work pretty well. Um, these, ICT billet, which is like our favorite cheap, I'm gonna call it cheap, but the stuff is really pretty nice. Uh, we got these, these adapters, because there's not gonna be any room for a radiator in the front of Matt's truck. Well, there might be, but it'd be cooler if it's in the back anyhow. So that's that. Uh, throttle body, war throttle body. It's 105. It's the same that's on the Camaro, except this one's polished. Uh, these are also pretty mint. They're like a, it's like ordering a Chinese one at a Chinese price. Well, it still is Chinese. It's like an eBay one at an eBay price, but uh, they do all the stuff that fails usually. Things are pre loctite and whatnot, so less chance of consuming that into the motor. This, the oil pump, the 103.55 Melling. Um, I ran a stock pump in my car. Looking back, I don't know if it was the right thing to do or not. Um, there's there's theories on what went wrong, but so this one we don't want to take any chances. And I, when I say we don't want to take chances, I should use that term lightly because there's there's always taking chances on a stock bottom end motor. But anyhow, so that oil pump's going in it. LS9 gaskets from BTR, same thing that's in all of them. And then the heads, that's I didn't, I didn't really order them. I I don't know why the head's sitting here. I'm just so proud that it doesn't look awful anymore and I spent half my life cleaning it. So those are ready to go. For the heads, we're using stock rockers. Uh, we did find some comp cams push rods that were used, but like new. So these are actually three ace push rods. Um, I'm gonna try those. Uh, and then we got the valve springs from BTR. They're the 685 Ultimates, which is what I ran in the Camaro. Um, I Some people probably say they were like way overkill. You don't need them, 660s are fine. I don't know, it just makes me feel good on a stock bottom end motor that's going to see probably, well, mine sees like 8,000, but but Matt, on the other hand, if you've ever watched any videos of Matt, I can almost assure you this thing will see somewhere around 9,000 come out of the burnout. So if anybody needs 685s, it's Matt. Matt needs them. So yeah, and then more ICT billet stuff, valley cover. Uh, that's just like a cheap $30 piece that makes it look a little a little less iffy when she's in the engine bay. Uh, we did splurge. We did splurge a little bit. Motion. Bought the valve covers from them. Comes with the dash 10 already welded on. Uh, we wanted to get the gloss finish on these, but they were actually out of stock. So we went with the textured finish, which is the same. This is the exact same valve cover on the Camaro, too. Um, they're expensive, but... It kind of goes back to the whole, it's one less thing that Brian has to do. And it's one less thing that I have to smooth out and paint and whatnot. So, and Matt kind of dug the look of them on the Camaro. So we went that route again. Uh, gates and block valves are from VS as well. Uh, of course, it's Holly powered, like everything. Um, this is the first I've used the Terminator X. Uh, this was also a black market purchase. Um, got a little bit of a deal on it. I have an HP in my car. Brian runs a Dominator. Johnny runs a Dominator. Um, for Matt's truck, this just seemed like a good fit for now. Um, I like it because you can always upgrade later if you want to go to a Dominator or whatever. So we're going to start off with that. Keep in mind, we're trying to do all of this stuff with what he sold his nitrous motor for. There are a few things here like the Terminator. Like, yeah, it could be a Dominator. And there's some other parts that could be a little fancier. But these are all proven things that are going to work just fine. Um, hence when I keep joking about the black market stuff, I had to find a lot of it used to try to stay in the budget. So a lot of these parts actually were stuff people had bought for projects and they didn't use and it was like brand new in the box still and we got a good deal. And then one of the last things is Holly High Ram. You've seen a hundred of them before. She's a little dusty. She was in the barn, but we'll clean that up. We did score it with injectors and rails on it, which is nice. Um, I, I, the only reason I bought it is because it's got Bosch 210s in it. And, if it doesn't have Bosch 10s, I'm probably not even going to be a part of it. So, so yeah. So, I think we've got just about all the critical hard parts. There is some stuff missing here, like LS7 lifters that I don't have in the picture. Because we all know what lifters look like. Um, 
and then like ARP head studs. So pretty much back to your typical your typical LS starter pack here. Nothing real special, but most of the stuff is proven. So yeah, the pan is the Summit pan. It's like a Moroso, but it's not a Moroso. Does the same job. Uh, it's really reasonably priced. It's like $148 uh, when you buy it. Um, you do have to buy the oil pump pickup kit too with it. And then you have to buy, well, you don't have to buy, you can use stock stuff, I suppose, but um, I bought I bought this oil stud kit. Uh, same one I used previously. Get the part number there. Um, so yeah, oil stud kit, pickup, and pan. It only runs you like $194 free shipping. So less than 200 bucks your door, you got a pretty sweet seven quart oil pan set up. So that's it. Now, now you know all the parts going in the truck. So stand by for sweet updates of us putting stuff together, not taking stuff apart anymore, because I can't handle any more of that.